we must understand that we live in a world that is not very old no matter of your view of creation or evolution we all come to that agreement that there is a world that has been here before and this world is superior to our world and this world created our world the scripture says that things that are not seen are eternal and things that are seen are temporary what that means is that everything you see has not been here forever and will not be here forever everything you see is not the most powerful but what you don't see is more important than what you see the world we believe in is greater than the world we see the world we see is a slave to the world we believe the world we believe in the world of the holy spirit the world of the supernatural the world we cannot see with our physical eyes but we can perceive with our heart that world has been here before and that world will be after this earth and that world is superior and that world is here right now it only cannot be seen with our physical eyes and that world can shift things and change things and our greatest task and desire is to come in contact and learn how to partner with that world can someone say amen when a little boy last year I remember was brought here who had asthma for was it six years six years since his birth that is the world that you see the doctors have given him the inhaler the doctors have given him the medicine the doctors have given him a prognosis and diagnosis and have given him a predicament for the rest of his life this little boy is going to use the inhaler and this little boy will not live a normal crazy wild doing whatever you want to do life he's going to be limited by his affliction that is the world you see that is the world that has its limits but the parents believed in the world that has no asthma parents believed in the world what asthma is a little boy and the holy spirit is the king and asthma doesn't tell what for the holy spirit what to do but holy spirit controls and changes things and when they came in February of last year for that prayer, it was a curly hair. I still remember that image because I thought it was a girl. So when we were praying, I said, God bless her. And then later on when the little girl came back, God not only healed the boy, but turns out I found out there was a boy, not a girl. And so, and when the father came back, you know, six months later and he testified, he says, ever since that prayer, until it was that time that they came it was six months before this it was six years he says something has happened the asthma that was supposed to stay for the rest of his life stayed no longer this boy runs this boy doesn't use his, his inhaler he's completely fine and the doctor told him he's completely good with his breathing you may say what was that there is a world that is bigger than the world you see there is a world that created that the world you see and our desire and our aim in life is to become a partner to connect yourself with the holy spirit who is supreme in this world sometimes our life can get hectic sometimes our life can get busy and our life can get over our head and when it gets that you always have to have this mental picture of jesus walking on the water the very water you're sinking under the very world you're suppressed under the very world where lawyers and doctors and connections and your best efforts and all of your medicine and all of your vitamin and all of your gym membership and all of the good things that you have in your life it comes short and you're drowning trying to stay on the top at that very instant the holy spirit walks over the very things with your best efforts you are trying to stay on the top peter was a professional swimmer 
Peter was a professional man at the sea. He was not a rookie. He was not an immature. The sea to him, it was his life. He was a pro at it and drowning in it. You may be pro in your world. You may have a master's, you may have a bachelor's, and you may have all of the education how to deal with people's problems and your own problems, and you will find yourself grasping for air. That's how life is. And at that very moment you must understand there is a world that walks over the things you're drowning in. And our desire is to connect with that world. Not only so we survive and we live 50 years happily after and me and my wife are still alive. Not only so that I will stay free from cancer until my old age and die having houses and cars. Not only so that I will be faithful to my spouse and that I will not find myself addicted. Not only that, but so like the Bible says in Romans that we will reign in life through the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace. God doesn't just wants to pull you out and give you stronger arms to swim in this world he wants to give you stronger wings to soar above it can someone say amen there is a world we don't see this world controls the world we see there is a world you don't see this world can change the world you do see I remember we were praying for one girl who was deaf in Massachusetts in the beginning of the year it was like I think it was like second time that when I was traveling I started seeing God heal people and this girl she couldn't hear in one ear and when we prayed and I remember I typically don't put my hands over people's on people's head and especially on their ears but at this particular one I placed both of my hands and I held them there for maybe 45 seconds felt a little bit awkward and I kept saying Lord God open her ears but I was praying for God to open her spiritual ears I didn't know she was deaf in one ear she couldn't hear and she had this pain and as I let my hands go she comes next night to testify and she said that very moment she says there was a click in my ear she says everything is completely gone she demonstrates she said I can hear completely what was that another world coming into our world there was nothing more significant about me than you it's that the Holy Spirit walks over the things we are drowning in the Holy Spirit walks over the things we're struggling in. It's very easy for Him. And you may say, but God, you can't be. I'm a pro at this. I know this. I've had 25 failed relationships. I am pro at relationships. If you would be, you wouldn't have 25 failed relationships. God is pro. You're just an immature trying to figure life out. Can somebody say amen? And Holy Spirit is on our side and He will help us in Jesus' name. We see the story today about Mary, how Mary, angel comes to Mary. This was the Christmas story we just celebrated last week. And He greets her and He tells her that you're about to become a mother of the greatest king, the king, of David, the king who's going to be the son of David. Israel's been waiting for and she says awesome until he tells her you're gonna have him before you get married and that's when she said that's not gonna that's not possible how is that even possible and he said it's simple if you agree with it if you open your mind to it Holy Spirit will do the rest the Holy Spirit will come he will touch your body and he will start doing something impossible and it will become possible she said after that it doesn't make sense I don't know how that could happen but let it be to me according to your word I want to want to share something today from this story of Mary a few things about this spiritual world I want you to write something in your notes when we open our mind to God's word we open our world to God's spirit when we open our mind to God's word, we open our world to God's